Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we're going to play with a Wireshark plugin or Lua script called Transum. Let me bring the uh, web page over here from the Internet Machine. It's uh, tribelabzero.com. I kept calling it tribal. It's tribelabzero.com and then slash resources. And you'll see it says right there Transum Wireshark plugin. And for the low, low price of nothing, it's free. You can take this Lewis script, and what you do is, it's actually quite simple. You go to your Wireshark folder, wherever that happens to be. Of course, I'm using Windows. And you basically put that transom file into your Wireshark folder. When you do that, then you can launch Wireshark and with the Lewis script and get some extra stuff. So I'm going to walk you through that. So the thing about the uh, Tribe Lab Zero uh, website, uh, Paul... Um, offered and a whole bunch of guys uh, from across the pond, I don't remember all their names, I apologize, came up with some pretty cool naming conventions for response time. And there's this request spread and service time, response time. There's this thing called APDU response time, which is the whole thing. And they explained it fairly well on this page. So they've basically written something called a Lewis script, which is a scripting or programming language, if you want to call it that, for Wireshark. So it's a plugin. So basically, I'm going to show you an example of that. Here is a typical HTTP trace. So there's a get, and there's an OK, and there's a get, so on and so on and so on. So now if I click this get, um, Wireshark in the past has been pretty good in their sequence acknowledgement analysis of providing some hint as to how many bytes are in flight and response time, that sort of thing. But what we're talking about now is at the application layer, HTTP. And you see the get. And it tells you here that the response time is in frame 9, next request in frame 11. This is all very helpful, don't get me wrong. This is fantastic. But let's take the next step. What I've done is created a new shortcut. And I call it Wireshark Transom. And if I look at my properties here, you'll see that the shortcut just has Wireshark.exe. And then at the end of it, there's a dash x space Lua underscore script colon and then transom.lua. What that allows you to do is run that script. So when you double click on that, let me show you what that looks like now. Same trace file, HTTP. And if I did uh, click on a get, for example, you'll see now it says transom RTE data. So if I hit that little plus sign, now it's telling me about that APTU response time, it tells me about that spread value, you know, all the stuff you saw on that website just a moment ago. The other good thing about this is now you have an actual field name. And it tells you right there, transom. If I was coming down here and select this guy, you'll see RSP spread. So you can actually click on that. You can do your Boolean operands, greater than, less than. You can even go to IO, uh, your IO graphs. And you can actually put this value in there by simply going to copy, field name, or you can type it in if you like, IO graph. And I'm just going to paste it in there because I'm lazy. There you go. So now I'm graphing this spread value in my IO graph. So there's a lot of things you can do with it now. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot more updates coming down the pipe. Thanks to Paul and the team. And go get it. Play with it. Have a good day. Bye for now.